What's up, Comical Ball? Brian to Cook, and tonight we are playing Doomsday. Thank you to David Circus for this donation deck. David is looking to switch off of playing High Tide and spoke to fellow High Tide expert Marcus Ewald about potentially playing Doomsday. Marcus provided this deck list, and it, it's a mid-range Doomsday deck. It's not really my cup of tea, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, this deck list is looking to be a little bit more controlling with things like Teferi Time Raveler, Baleful Strix, Mishra's Bobble, Predict. I mean, it's on a Marcus list if it doesn't have Predict in it, right? So it's definitely looking to be a larger Doomsday deck. I am definitely the person that likes my combo decks to be a little bit more linear, but David is just looking for initial feedback on the deck list, so that's what I'm going to provide today. So would this be the Doomsday list that I would play? Probably not. That said, I'm not always correct. I'm wrong a decent amount of the time. I'm only human. So today we're going to play this deck list and find out if I am wrong, which is entirely possible. I haven't played Doomsday in about three months. I just, I don't know. I, I don't love the deck personally. It doesn't have the play experience that I'm looking for. It's a very powerful deck. Max Carini's been crushing with a grief Doomsday list that I think is probably pretty good. But it's just not really what I'm looking for out of Magic the Gathering. So I haven't been playing it. And here we have this White Splash that provides you Teferi Time Raveler as a proactive protection piece that can also disrupt the opponent a little bit. But then in the sideboard we have some elements to potentially combat Delver and a Juke plan with the Monastery Mentor, which is pretty sweet. So we're going to test this out tonight, see how it goes, and uh, why don't we just hop on into match number one. I think that would be best. So I will see you there. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for some Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Let's kick it off. Match number 1, we are on the play. So we have Teferi to pitch to Force, this hand does not have Doomsday, we have a Pseudo Cantrip and Bobble. I have no idea what our opponent's playing. I know that if I was playing a Max Carini list that this is supposed to be mul a mulligan. And with the Max Space list, you do not keep hands that don't turn to Doomsday. I don't think that is the plan here with this list because this list is certainly less explosive. Uh, but I, I just fear that this hand doesn't do anything. Like, yes, you can play Teferi or you can pitch Teferi to Force, but is that really good enough? I think I'm going to go to 6. Ah, uh, uh, basic planes. We are forced to mulligan to five. I guess so. Uh, we'll keep this bottom the pedal and probably the bobble. 
Okay. Had that planes have been a fetch land for underground sea, I probably would have kept that six card hand. Let's fire off the thought seas. Sneak and show. Okay. So you might be thinking, why not take a brainstorm there? There's a rule with discard spells that you typically don't want to take something they have two of. In order to for them to possibly win this game, uh, maybe I should main phase this, trying to hit a land. Yeah, let's do that. Yikes. I'm in trouble. Okay, so normally you don't want to hit something that has multiple copies. By taking the Gristle Brand, not only do they have to find Show and Tell, they also have to find a payoff spell. So these brainstorms have to do more lifting. That's a ponder. The opponent's passing. We'll take a draw. All right. So I think I'm going to get rid of this Edge of Autumn and cast Predict. Target us. Am I really supposed to force a will this days? I think I have to. Like, I'm just not doing anything if I don't. Predict. And another copy of Brainstorm. We did know about that, so let's see what their four cards have. All right, Edge of Autumn. Still no land. Pass the turn. All right, they played the Volcanic that we knew about. Two mana for an expressive iteration. That's a spicy one out of Sneak and Show. The only way that they could play a zero here is if they hit Lotus Petal, but instead they reveal a 15 drop with Ember Cold Aeon's Thorn. All right, we found another force. Let's see if we can find a land. There we go. So let's keep the fluster on top. That way we can have a little bit more protection. The opponent is on five cards here. Three mana. I will attempt to cast Force of Will. All right, so now we get to untap and draw Fluster Storm. Pass the turn. Four cards. Try another. Fluster Storm, the show and tell. They have two cards. Same targets. And now Fluster. They're going to attempt to daze. Well, I will pay for this. It stinks, though, because I'm actually... I can't cast the Doomsday now. Unless I draw a land, I guess. So they have a land and the payoff for the show and tell in hand. Draw. That'll do, pig. Black, black, black. Doomsday! All right. So, how do I want to do this? Scrubland's a little bit awkward here. But I definitely want Thassa's Oracle. So I draw Predict for turn, I can mill a random card. And then draw into like Lotus Petal Oracle. I Predict in here. So that's three. So then I need a random card to mill. Do I want a cavern? Maybe cavern's better than Lotus Petal, actually. Yeah, all right. Take the cavern and then Edge of Autumn. So I'm missing the random card to mill, which can just be island, I guess. All right, so the cards we click first go on the bottom of the deck. So that can be Cavern of Souls, Thassa's Oracle, Edge of Autumn, Island, Predict. Pass the turn. So we know that the opponent has 
a land in hand, the payoff that they had for the show and tell, and then one unknown card. All right, so they play the island, still two cards in hand, and they're passing. Draw. Let's cast this predict, targeting us. We'll name island. Surprise, surprise. Cycle the Edge of Autumn, sacrificing Scrubland. Cavernous Souls. Wizard. Blue, blue. Boss's Oracle. We did it! How about that? Look at me. Old Doomsday player. Well, the old part is right. All right, so we won game number one. I think Duress is pretty strong in this matchup. I don't love the sideboard juke here. I don't think that's what we want to be doing. And I'm not sure how I feel about Surgical. Um, it's probably okay. I don't really feel like this is a Baleful Strix matchup, so maybe we can shave on those a little bit. Leave one in. Let's try this out. I think the best thing about Baleful Strix is that it pitches to Force of Will here. This list, admittedly, it's a little bit weird on blue cards. Uh, so a lot of your blue cards are actually fairly important other than the Baleful Strix. So you don't really want to pitch anything other than this card in particular. Maybe the Teferi, but all these other cards are pretty high value. Hmm. They kept seven. I think I'm gonna try this out. Volcanic Island, they're passing. Predict, how lovely. Let's play out this Lotus Petal. And I think I'm just going to try to hit land number two here. Let's check on myself to see what I find. Luster, I think I actually want to keep that. And they cast the Brainstorm. Draw off the bobble trigger. Ponder, you got it. Mountain. A lotus petal. They're passing. So one of the things I dislike about Predict is that it encourages bad cantrip patterns. Because right now I'm sort of priced into casting this brainstorm to try to set up Predict. Um, jeez. I could try to win right here. I just don't know how good of an idea that actually is. Go back the Teferi and Ponder. Draw. Dark Ritual. So I could go Dark Ritual Doomsday. And then try to predict into the win. Just a little bit worried about that. Means that my like I'm just completely disrespecting my opponent. I'm gonna go for it. Pitch is show and tell. Attempt to fluster. Interesting. So they have three cards in hand. I have no way of getting deeper into my deck. I feel like I want Edge of Autumn, Cavern of Souls, Lotus Petal, Lotus Petal and like Brainstorm maybe? Not sure. So that's five. So I would cast, or I would, this is risky. So I would cycle Edge of Autumn into Brainstorm, Cast the brainstorm into these, and then I can cavern oracle. Really help if this list had like a pact of negation in here. There's no days either. Force requires two cards, which is kind of an issue. Not really sure what the play is. Hmm. You could do like a Lion's Eye Diamond pile and just go all in, but I don't love that. 
Alright, I think that I'm just gonna go for this. I lose the Pyroblast killing Oracle, but... Oh well. Oh no! Oh no, Oracle's in my hand. What am I doing? I, I freaked out for nothing. I'm fine. Whew. Sorry, just like, for a second, looking at the five and not seeing an Oracle for a split second, I was starting to freak out. Alright, so petals go on the bottom. Cavern. Here we go. Pass the turn. One has four cards. They're passing. We'll draw. Flow to blue. Cycle the edge of autumn. Gas brainstorm. Well, I would have just lost that card, so I'm glad that didn't happen. They cast Ponder, two cards left in hand. They did not shuffle. Scalding Tarn. Am I dead? So if they have a creature, I'm in a lot of trouble. There's no reason for me to play this. Like, I don't gain anything by playing Cavern of Souls. So I'm dead to a creature here. Land 5. They activate the sneak attack and I'm probably dead. They just have to find an Emrakul. Archon will do. Sort of a bummer. Off to game number 3. I really don't like how this list doesn't have something like a Pact or a Daze to protect itself for one card. Like, Force requiring two cards is a lot, and Flusterstorm needs another mana. I just like the idea of something free in your Doomsday Pile. Maybe it's a crutch for someone that's inexperienced like myself, but I do enjoy that. Alright, I'm just going to submit the same uh, list back for game number three. This is a good one. We will keep. Lead on Duress. I think we leave them with the Force. We can beat that later. Volcanic and a Ponder. They did not shuffle. A couple of Lotus Petals in play. Draw. So we have a Doomsday next turn, backed by a Force of Will. That's pretty good. Whoops, undo. Cast Ponder. I think we shuffle this. Pass. I think Dark Ritual or Lotus Petal will just be our best draw. Sure thing. Three cards. Force of Will, Volcanic Island, and one unknown. Draw. Let's attempt to play Doomsday. They did not flow to mana, so I could force here. I think I'm going to. Are you going to get me? Sweet. So Oracle goes in the pile, that's step one. We have a Brainstorm already. I think we can do an LED pile here. I just have to put a discard spell in there. So I would start the turn off by Brainstorming into... Um, am I wrong about this? I think I just want to put like a ponder in there. So let's just talk this through. So I start the turn off by brainstorming into Edge of Autumn Diamond Discard spell. Is that right? It can't be right. I think I need to be able to put the Oracle under there. Well, I, okay, I'm, I, I, I get it now. So I draw a card for turn. That's what I wasn't thinking of. And then I brainstorm into these three. And then the ponder finds Oracle. That should do it. 
All right, so Oracle on the bottom, Ponder, LED Edge, and then Duress. Pass the turn. One has two lands and a Force of Will, plus an unknown. Am I wrong? I must be wrong. Maybe I didn't close out the... That doesn't matter. But they still have a Force in hand. I don't think that mattered. Draw. So now I duress. So brainstorm. Yeah, I think that this works. Cast brain. Uh, does it work? I don't know. I'm starting to second guess myself here. No, I needed the extra card. I can't do that. I'm dead to the onboard archon. Uh, I just lost myself this match. My inexperience with Doomsday is really showing right now. So I wasn't supposed to play the dress because I need both the LED and these two cards. So I just had to accept being dead to the Force of Will, and instead I lose the match. Oh, that was brutal. Damn. This one should have been a win. My own fault. I can't even... Yeah, I'm just dead. All right, zero and one. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match number two. Let's see if I can not throw this one. Okay. Uh, sure. This seems fine enough. Keep. Okay. We'll just play an island and pass the turn. We don't need to open up ourselves to Wasteland, so that's the game plan. Swamp. Stitcher Supplier. Interesting. I'm not really sure what they're playing. But we do have a turn to win. Hello, planes. No, we don't have... For some reason, I thought we had Dark Ritual. What am I thinking? We do not have a turn to win. Cast Brainstorm. Um, Why do I think we had Dark Ritual? Sorry, I'm a little bit out of it, clearly. I think we hide Doomsday on top. Play this bobble. Pass the turn. Beginning of their upkeep, we will bobble them. Bristlebrand, huh? Okay. So, is this just like a reanimator variant? It must be. Draw off the bobble. So, we're going to draw both cards I put back with the brainstorm. Let's try another Brainstorm. This one actually does find the Dark Ritual. Let's get rid of this garbage planes. Get that out of here. Put back the Ideas Unbound. Actually, I don't know if it matters if Ideas is in our deck or not. I don't think it does. So we'll use Flooded Strand, and I think we have a win here. Dark Ritual, or maybe not with only one Cycler. Yeah, I think the one Cycler is going to be an issue here. So I can cycle into Brainstorm, or maybe I can build a Lotus Petal Brainstorm pile. Let's think through this. So I need to start on casting Brainstorm, okay? And then we would get Lion's Eye Diamond. 
Or what if I cycle onto Lotus Petal? I don't think that does it. I was thinking cycle onto Petal Cast Ideas, but that doesn't work. Because there's only two Lotus Petals in this deck. This list is really killing me. Um, we need an Oracle. Petal. Petal. No. Um, so if I do another Brainstorm, I just want to talk through this. So if I do another Brainstorm, does that work? I think it does. Or maybe I want to ponder and add a second Brainstorm. That might actually might be it. So I would cast Brainstorm, put back the Oracle and something else, and then ponder into the Oracle. I think this works. I hope I'm not wrong. Oracle can go on the bottom. Okay, let's try this. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Cycle. Now we cast Brainstorm. Put back these two. No, I can't put back Ponder. My bad. Um, yeah, this wins. I mean, I guess I'm dead if they have a removal spell, but I don't think I'm supposed to play around that. Crack for blue. Like if there was a consider in this deck, this would win be a guaranteed win too. Okay, and Oracle. Trigger. We did it. We did it. So if you're watching this, there was a lot of me complaining and then eventually winning because I didn't have the easy cards in the deck. It might be possible that I am just not good enough to play one of these mid-range piles without uh, all the simpleton cards in it. I'm not sure. But we are facing mono block reanimator, so we probably want some of these <clears throat> uh, interactive pieces. Take out the Baleful Strix. It's just not a Strix matchup. Could board in swords, but I think you're trying to fight the wrong part of the deck. So I'm just going to submit this. Can maybe board out cavern, keep in a baleful strix. Uh, it's not going to let me. Plains cavern hand, huh? The rest of it's really good though, so I am going to keep it. It's a bummer because this hand would be so much better if the cavernous souls was the baleful strix. Cabal Therapy. Will they name Forcible or will they name Doomsday? Brainstorm. None of the above. Okay. Draw. Okay, another Delta. Let's Thought Seize them. Thoughts is on the stack. So they're on Mono Black Dragon. This deck won. Um, I forget ELD. It's a store in Massachusetts. It, it won like a small 1K there over the weekend. I think we just take the supplier. They can therapy me, but the way that their hand is constructed, they can't afford to do that because they need to get the dragon to the graveyard. They play the Swamp. They Therapy targeting me. My Force of Will has been removed. It's also worth noting that Reanimate doesn't really work that well with Royal Gorge or Dragon. So had I known, or had I realized that they were on the Dragon deck, Boarding in Swords actually just blows this card out of the water. So, something worth thinking about and what they could do here is reanimate the supplier and then therapy me again and that is what's going to happen they mill over and animate that in a third cabal therapy they flashback therapy targeting me 
They do not get the Royal Gorger to Graveyard, so they're, they're going to choose to leave that Stranded in hand. They go after Predict. That's interesting. So I have a whole bunch of lands in. That's about it. And another one. Lovely. Pass the turn. So while it may seem that I am favored, because our opponent has one card and I have four, it's essentially one versus one when I have triple land in hand. Okay, take a draw. I think I'm going to hang on to that for a bit. Pass the turn. They play another land. Take a draw. There we go. Brainstorm. Let's get rid of the Underground Sea and Cavern of Souls. I said that in the wrong order, but whatever. Let's ponder. I don't want to play the Duras and just have them show me garbage. I'm going to shuffle this. Wait, I thought I've already played a land. I guess not. All right, let's just cast the duress then. Pass the turn. World Gorger all on its lonesome. Draw. Does this win? Doomsday. And our opponent has picked it up. All right, well, I won one. We are now one and one with three matches left to go. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm Mini Token Pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite Stormwind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, four treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match number three. We've opened up a pretty good hand. We're going to keep this. I have no clue what our opponent's playing. They've taken a very hasty mulligan to five. All right, five cards, mountain. Welder, so they're on painter, draw. We pick up another predict. Lotus petal. Dark ritual, doomsday. Hmm, well, I definitely want this oracle. Cavern of Souls, Lotus Petal, Edge of Autumn, hmm, I don't know if I actually need the cavern, maybe I want Predict, I need the other petal, so this cavern's useless, I just need a card to mill over with Predict. Which might as well just be Force of Will. So that way they respect me having Force. Because if you exile all the Forces, people tend to go, like, insane. So let's talk through this. So I want to draw Edge for turn. Cycle into this. Predict. Draw those two. Actually, I guess it's better to... Do it this way. All right. That's the turn. Great Furnace. They're getting in there. I'll go to eight. I guess I'm just dead to Pyroblast. Hmm. 
Let's pass the turn. The Lotus Petal. What is this? When it enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 Thopter with flying second artifact. Choose. It's also a tap ability, so they can't use this yet because it doesn't have haste. Uh, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until end of turn, or target creature gains plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Sure. You have a Thopter with one card in hand. They get in there. All right. I will predict targeting myself. So I mill force. And then I untap draw and I have fluster back up. Blue, blue, Oracle. Didn't see this coming. Get out of here. All right, we got it. Next game. Painter. So this is a matchup where I think the juke actually helps a little bit. Let's try this out. Probably brought out the ideas. I still don't think this is a strict. This, I don't know. I don't mean to board out strict every round. I just don't think it's a very good card in Doomsday. It's just not what we want. 68. Probably brought out this Teferi against the deck with a million Pyroblasts in it. That leaves us at 66. I mean, do you just board out the Doomsdays? Is that crazy? Maybe this is the plan. We just become like a badass per deck. 57, and then like board in some of this stuff again. Probably board out the Edge of Autumn. That's 56, so then we can board back in the Strix. Do we want the three mana card versus the Pyroblast deck? Probably not. Then again, the cavern isn't that good here. Is it worth playing as a colorless land? Probably not. Let's try this. Hopefully this Monastery Mentor can do some work. This looks so bad. Mulligan. Ugh, Baleful Strix. I think we keep this though. Lotus Battle. Urza Saga. Goblin Engineer, okay. For a Painter Servant, we are in trouble. Draw. They have four cards. Let's dress them, see what they're working with. They don't have an artifact yet for the engineer to weld out. They do have this apprentice looming. That's the turn. I would guess that this turn is just another goblin engineer. They drew great furnace. Okay, so now they can bring back the painter servant. Draw. Let's cast Brainstorm and see if we can fix up this hand. These Baleful Strix suck. Fetch. Let's ponder. Okay. Pass the turn. So they're going to use the Engineer, getting back Grindstone. Are we going to K them, KO them here? If they get diamond here, I think they're going... Oh, they're going for it. We're going to KO them with the Swords to Plowshares. Yeah, they're going all in. All right. Well, uh, we do have a Swords. So we lost our Predict. But now our opponent's Hellbent with an Engineer. Draw... Let's brainstorm. That was bad. 
Uh, I think I'd keep the Lotus Petal in case I draw a Mentor. Just grab Swamp. Play around uh, Blood Moon if we can. When it gets in, I drew a land. Draw. Probably just remove this Engineer, so that way in case they draw an artifact, they don't start to come back. Pass the turn. Sweet. Draw. Maybe relying on Triple Mentor wasn't the best plan, I don't know. Auto yield to this. Give me a white creature. It's not too often I'm begging for a monastery mentor. Pass. That's a welder. All right, no need to swords on the run step. I can see if I draw a well or a mentor and then swords. Not the case. We'll remove this. Can't have that happening. Pass the turn. Land three. Draw. Turn eight. What channel do you think you are tuning into? I'm going to control deck over here. I've joined the dark side. There we go. Menta. Got to say like you're from Boston. I love a good monastery Menta. Auto yield. Get out of here with that trash. Come on. This is amateur hour. Same targets. Auto yield. Pass the turn. Storms one. So I could swords and then fluster it. I feel like it's pretty risky. Let's fetch. Swords a monk. Okay, so I gain two. And then we'll fluster. Same targets. They have two cards in it, so we're not guaranteed to win this. But I feel like if those cards had text on them, they would have played them already. So I want to protect my mentor. Attack for five. Retrofitter, you got it. Draw. Let's get in there. They can make a servo and block. Yep. You got it. So even if they pyroblast me here, I do get to make a monk. It's a good time for them. Like, I haven't played a good Pyroblast target yet, so I'm not expecting this to resolve. Yep, saw that coming. They do not have a Painter Servant. It's worth noting. Wow, what a rip. Bad control deck. That's what we're known for here at the Epic Storm. Get in. I've attacked before the Mentor in my life. I've played tons of Vintage PO. They're at five. So they're not actually dead yet. Uh, if they make a servo, they can block Mentor and take four. But that'll do, Peg. That'll do. It's a Fairy Time Raveler. The opponents conceded the game. We're two and one. Turning it around. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Alright, fourth match, we are on the play with Doomsday. We don't have Dark Ritual. We don't have any extra lands. It does have Force. I think we'll try it. This hand's pretty sketchy. Okay. 
Delta Bobble. Target ourselves. I don't need another force. Let's just grab the underground scene and pass the turn. Draw. Not the best draw either. Black. They have a swamp thought seize. I don't want them to know what my hand is. Draw. Hey, we can cast this uh, Baleful Strix. Trigger. Pick up another copy of Predict. Let's see if I can rip a land off the top. What are you playing? Fine. They take Doomsday. And is this another discard spell? It is. I am D-Date out. Draw. Get in there. I think I'm going to target them. Just say Swamp. Dark Confidant. So they're on some sort of fair deck. Wasteland. Lily. That's not a good sign for me. Edge of Autumn down. Draw. I should probably fetch first. All right, Strix. Let's attack the Liliana. They have two cards. Voidwalker. They plus the Lily. Let's brainstorm, I guess. Okay, so we're going to attack Lily for two. I think I'm going to lose this. I feel pretty far behind. They plus the lily. Okay. Yeah. Play cavern. Wizard. And we'll attack the lily out of the veil again. They drew a land. A plus. So we're going to get the Lily off the table, but our opponent's racing us with this Voidwalker and we are losing that race. Attack the Veil. They draw a card. She's gone. So even if I draw Doomsday, yikes. Even if I draw Doomsday, they've pressured my life total a bunch and I have to pass the turn if I want to win, so I'm just dead to this Cauldra or the Voidwalker, realistically. Draw. Play another Strix. The creature's indestructible, correct? Yeah. I think I have to hold the Flooded Strand for a possible Brainstorm. There's no point in attacking, just pass. Here's the Cauldra. Alright, so I have to block at least one. I think I want to block twice so I can stay out. Oh no, uh, I wanted to do one more. Damn. So now I go to Chew. So I can't use the Fetch Land now if I hit. Draw. Alright, we didn't hit anyway. That was a rough one. Dead guy L just beating the crap out of me, or black white stone blade, whatever you'd like to call it. So here I think we want to maybe do a hybrid plan. I don't think I love Teferi. Let's get rid of those. Baleful Strix felt pretty embarrassing. I want to take that garbage card out of my deck. Same thing with the Flusters. So our opponent has a ton of discard, which would make Fluster pretty good. But the problem is that it doesn't interact with Liliana or any of the things they played in the second half of that game. So I think instead of fighting on that axis, you just want more good cards in your deck. Let's get rid of the Thoughtseize. Need one. I think we could probably just take out the Cavern. Let's try this. 
on the play. Keep. Point it with the mulligan to five. Underground C, Dark Ritual, Doomsday. So they're going to get to see our juke here. Uh, I feel like I want the Edge of Autumn. And another Predict. Is that crazy? Really wish this deck had two cyclers. Or maybe the predict should just be a brainstorm. Alright, let's keep this. Alright, Oracle goes second from the bottom. Put brainstorm here and edge on top. I think this wins even if our opponent has a discard spell. That's a little bit annoying. So let's talk through this. So I cycle into Brainstorm and then that does it. Put back two. Pedal. Pedal. And Oracle. We did it! How about that? Game three coming up. Just going to submit again. Yikes. Mulligan. We're facing a deck with a ton of discard. I'm just going to try it. Scrubland. Thoughtseize. Dark Ritual down. Take a draw. Play out this bobble. Pass the churn. In their upkeep, let's bobble them. Stoneforge Mystic. They know that we have an ending. And they play the Mystic. There's a Cauldra. So draw off Bobble and then our draw step. This is actually kind of nice. I don't have to play into Wasteland anymore. Wow, Basic Planes, MVP, you heard it here first. Pass the turn. As per Sentinel, you got it. Draw. Pass the turn. I'm not going to play Lotus Petal. It doesn't make any sense when I have Triple Mentor in my deck to just, like, play that card. That's the Punish. Uh, yeah, you have a Lily. Yep. Come on, Doomsday. Please, that give me a Doomsday. Draw. I guess I can just remove her. That's another way, right? I'm going to play out this uh, Scrubland instead of giving them another card. This way I can pay for the Sentinel tax. If they want to wasteland me, they can wasteland me. Sure thing. Voidwalker. I would like a doomsday, please. Draw. Cast it. I will pay. Pass the turn. Bobble them. Swords to plowshares. So we have to empty our deck if we're going to win. Yikes. That hurt. So I've already used two copies of Prismatic Ending. Why do they have one card in hand? Oh, they discarded Cauldra to the Lily. Okay. That makes more sense. Draw. Play the ponder. Yep. Feel like I'm getting crushed. I have the mentor, but they already have swords to plowshares in hand. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this. I just don't know. Like, I could shuffle the Mentor away there, but if I do, what's my best draw? Doomsday? I'm dead on board to Deafening Silence Voidwalker with Doomsday. So I think I have to at least play out the Mentor to gain a little bit of life. So now I'm taking 5 down to 7. And they have another Stone Forge. Am I just dead? So if I play anything, they're going to draw two. Sort of just a lose-lose situation. Ponder. No. Mentor trigger. Sure, I guess. I'm still dead, I believe. Pass. The deafening silence is just so brutal. Kaya, yep. I know what they're thinking about here. Like, honestly, I'd even swing out and just put me to one. And I know that they have swords. All right, so we are now two and two. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final match with Midrange Doomsday. Here we've opened up two odd lands in our deck, Cavern of Souls and Plains. Can't cast the Strix. This predict doesn't have anything to set it up. Unfortunately, it's a mulligan. This actually looks pretty decent. I think we'll keep this. Get rid of the ideas. Okay. Watery Grave. Delver. So we're facing Shadow. I'm going to see if I can just resolve the Doomsday. I'm not afraid. Whoops. Why did I think Island? That was just stupid. <sighs> Forgive me. Doomsday. And it resolves. Okay. So I'm going to build a weird, a weirdish pile. This is something that Max has shown me in the past. Max Carini, that is. I'm going to pop, build a pile that just like wins slowly. And then we can get, I don't know, like an edge of autumn. The idea here is that we're going to fetch out the blue sources. So you just put these on the bottom. Um, Oracle Edge Cavern. Pass. I wonder if I could have set that up better. Delver doesn't flip. Wasteland. Okay. Draw. Play the Delta, we're just going to pass. Delver triggers. Force of Will. Am I supposed to fetch here? Sure. Do you have another waste? They do. Predict you. Gonna force a will. So this is a sweet one. I get the name Storm King's Thunder. Hiya. All right. I've been wasted. So we have a 50-50 shot at drawing the card we want. What we want is um, the Edge of Autumn, not the Oracle. Perfect. We'll name Wizard. Add a blue cycle and cast a wizard. 
Can't be countered. We did it. Take that, Delver. Death Shadow Wasteland Force. Whatever you want to call yourselves. Alright, so Swords is probably pretty good here. We've actually finally found a matchup where Baleful Strix doesn't completely suck. Uh, I do think Teferi's probably too slow here. Just gets dazed or we we can't cast it because of all the Wasteland interaction. Hmm. That brings me up to 64. I think here we take out the Bobbles and a Predict. We're just trying to have more cards that are meaningful. I'm actually going to shave another Predict for a, a Prismatic Ending. Let's try this out. Sure. Keep. Watery Grave. They cycle Street Rate down to 16 life. Down to 14 life. Passing the turn. Edge of Autumn is not a good pickup here. Wasteland. It's not very nice. Take a draw. Another Doomsday. Let's grab Basic Swamp. Underground Sea. And we're going to cast a Baleful Strix here. Show them who the beatdown is. Trigger. Sweet. And if they waste me, I can cycle this Edge of Autumn. They cast Brainstorm. Alright, so they activate the Wasteland. I will cycle. Lion's Eye Diamond. These draws have not been uh, what we need at the moment. Draw. Um, I fear that attacking them sets up their Death Shadows, but I don't know. Let's attack. Blue, black, Strix. Flusta. That was a good one. Another brainstorm. And our opponent just conceded. Wow. Uh, okay, so I guess we got the 3-2. One of those matches was my own fault. I played like garbage and we lost. And then the other one, we lost to the trophy leader on Black White Dead Guy Ale. Uh, the years 2007, Chris Pakula has risen once again and kicked her butt with uh, <laughs> mid range doomsday. So, my thoughts I struggled with this list personally. There was a lot of cards that I wanted that just weren't in here because we were playing this cute bobble predict package that never really came up. Teferi. I think is really clunky in current legacy with how linear everything is. It's just really hard to use. Baleful Strix is obviously very good against Dalbert decks, and we only faced the one where our opponent's deck didn't really function. So I don't think that this was a good indication of Baleful Strix in the Doomsday Shells. That said, I don't really love it there to begin with. Take that with a grain of salt, as I am the combo guy that likes the hyper-efficient combo decks. That's what I've got for you. Um... Yeah, so thank you for watching, keep storming, and uh, have a great day. See ya. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.